With home prices soaring in so many supposedly trendy cities, one perhaps less celebrated town is telling people it's definitely okay to make the move. Very okay. Here's Connor Knighton. While packing up her small apartment in the middle of San Francisco, Stephanie Robeski has been pausing to drool over three-bedroom homes in the middle of the country. I'm dying for a porch, by the way. Yeah. I just want to, like, sit in a rocking chair. I, like... Is there anything that you could buy in all of San Francisco for $200,000? <laughs> no. You couldn't even buy a parking space in San Francisco for $200,000. <laughs> uh, Robeski should know. She works in property management. But she works remotely, meaning she's mostly able to do her job from home, or really, from anywhere. And then did you start to think, well, why am I working from one of the most expensive cities in the country? <laughs> Definitely. That's why Robeski will soon be living in a brand new state. Soon be living in a brand new state. Oklahoma, Oklahoma land of oil, wide open prairie, maybe a Route 66 sign or two, right? Well, that's only part of the story. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Tulsa, a city of 400,000, has plenty of hip coffee shops, bustling bars, and is home to a thriving arts district. It just doesn't get much credit for being cool. That's why, last year, a group here created an ambitious program to spread the word to the growing population of workers around the country who are able to work remotely. Take your laptop to Tulsa, and they will pay you $10,000 to move here. I think that going after remote workers allows us to identify really talented individuals who have the flexibility to work from wherever and show them what Tulsa has to offer them. So you're originally from New Mexico, right? I am, yeah. Are you... Aaron Belsley is the director of Tulsa Remote, a new initiative backed by the Tulsa-based nonprofit George Kaiser Family Foundation. <laughs> its goal is to attract some new blood to Tulsa with the hope that those who come might stick around. In addition to the 10 grand paid out over the course of a year, the program offers free communal office space and networking opportunities with other new arrivals. And do you have group meetings there, or is it more? Yeah, we do like our... Javier Ruiz is a content writer for a language learning website. He had been living in New York, but he was ready for a change of pace when he applied to the program. It feels like it's time to calm down or not be as uh, in the hustle and bustle. You get older and you kind of want to think about what are you going to invest in for your future. In Tulsa, Ruiz can easily afford a house. He's one of 100 remote workers who were accepted into the program's first year. There were more than 10,000 applicants who came from a wide array of industries. Obviously, there's a, a large focus on technology, but healthcare was a huge area. We had a couple patent attorneys who applied who have the ability to work from wherever. <laughs> Uh, we have a Harlem Globetrotter. I don't know if you heard about her. Lily Thompson is one of the newest members of the Globetrotters. She was drafted right after college. Her new career is going to take her all over the world. I can live anywhere and, and fly in to the games whenever I'm needed. And so I had just a blank slate in front of me of where to go. For Thompson, the $10,000 bonus was certainly a selling point. But she was also looking for a city where she could make a difference. People move to Los Angeles all the time, and it's like a tiny drop in a puddle. Um, but maybe with this Tulsa Remote program, myself and the other members of our cohort can come in and, and really have a big positive impact on the city. That would be pretty cool. But in a city of 400,000, can 100 new recruits actually make a difference? Tulsa Remote is spending over a million dollars betting they can. I think that 100 people can make a difference, for sure. And I think that when those 100 people are so excited about making an impact and so ready to be part of a community, and you have a community that's so ready to welcome them, that there is plenty of a chance to have a huge impact. When you told your friends that this was something you were thinking about doing, what was the reaction like? They were like, Tulsa? Like, why are you going to Tulsa? But if the program succeeds, Aaron Belsley is hoping remote workers will soon be asking a different question. The, the people that live here are incredibly gracious and, and welcoming. There's plenty of opportunity, there's space. Why not Tulsa? In other words... You're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. 